What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So this is my first workout, first bench workout that is after my little vacation to Virginia. What I ended up doing was since I wanted to deload while I was away, it didn't work out exactly. So what I ended up doing is I started this workout since this is the first week of the new cycle on 531. I did this exact workout before I went away. Then I went away and then I decided to do the exact same workout again and start the cycle fresh after a deload. So it was actually a good way for me to test my strength before and after vacation just to see the effects that it has. And I got, I did squats the day before this. I got one less rep on my AMRAP and I also got one less rep on my AMRAP today on bench. So it's a little cool experiment just to see what one week off does. While I was away, even though I ate pretty crappy, I actually lost like a pound or a little bit more. So that kind of explains it. My diet wasn't really in check, wasn't training, so it's okay to lose some strength. And that's really just after a week. So you can imagine if you take months off in the gym, coming back must feel really rough. But the good thing with muscle memory is I'll be completely back at my normal strength within a week or two. And if you're even off for a few months, even though it's never happened to me, I know once you have the strength, once you have the muscle, it does come back relatively quickly, a lot faster the second time than the first time when you get it um, in the very beginning of your journey. So just thought that was a little bit interesting. I never really got to do any kind of experiment like that before to test my strength before and after vacation. And since it was the exact same weights, exact same workout, I really got to see the effect of taking a week off and wasn't that pretty, but wasn't that bad either. So... Um, I'm going to take you through the entire workout, not just the bench press. Uh, this is my accessory week where I did 8 to 10 reps. So that's what you'll be seeing on all the accessories, somewhere between 8 and 10 reps. As far as the sets that I do on all the exercises, even though I only film one set, everything besides bench press and pull-ups, which is what you're going to see in about 2 seconds, everything besides those is 3 sets. And then bench and pull-ups, I did 5 sets of that. And... Usually I do a decent amount of drop sets, but I don't really film them. However, in this particular video, I actually filmed several of my drop sets. So I thought, hey, what better topic to talk about than drop sets? Because a lot of people do ask about drop sets and my opinion on them. And my opinion on drop sets is that they are excellent. They are a great intensity technique, and I highly recommend them. So here is the first one that you're going to see on pull-ups. I got eight with the dumbbell. I forgot exactly what weight that was. And then I just do my body weight, and I believe I get an extra three reps. Now, the thing with drop sets is I don't try to go to failure on them, but I do like to get some extra reps in about and stopping about one or two reps short of failure. So there I got three. Probably could have done four if I wanted to go to failure, but I didn't want to go to failure. And here we move on to the incline chest machine, which is my favorite chest machine if you've been following the channel for any amount of time. And you'll see also on that I do a drop set. So... As far as drop sets, the reason I like them is because it enables you to do a set where you can get a heavier weight to stimulate your muscle with some heavier weight, but then you also get kind of the benefit of higher reps with heavy weight because then once your muscle is already fatigued, you then lower the weight, do more reps, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. You're getting the heavier weight and the higher reps all together. Um, it's, I kind of feel like rather than adding a whole bunch more sets to get the extra intensity in, you kind of able to save some more time and get that extra intensity in and only like an extra 30 seconds whereas normally you would have to do several extra sets to get the same kind of effect. So it's kind of like a time saver and an intensity adder if that makes sense. So I really like to do them. I would not do them to, on too many exercises. Uh, really what I recommend is, let's say you're doing chest for example, don't do it on the first couple of chest exercises, but whatever your last chest exercise happens to be, on that one you could do a drop set and also try to stop a little bit short of failure. Because if you start doing a drop set on your first exercise, you're not going to really have enough energy to continue the rest of the workout um, at full capacity. So once you know like your the chest workout's near, the end is near, that's when you could do the drop set to really finish it off. Uh, you saw I just did pendulay rows, did not do a drop set on those, and I also do Arnold presses here, and this is what I'm talking about. I don't do a drop set on Arnold presses here, because I still have to do lateral raises afterwards, and I save my drop set for the last shoulder exercise, which is lateral raises. So, never do a drop set on like the first set of an exercise, always do it on the last one if you're going to do it at all. Stop a little bit short of failure, and again, try not to abuse them, don't do them too often, but they're definitely an intensity technique that I like to add. Probably my favorite intensity technique out of 
Out of all of them, I guess the other intensity technique you could use are rest pause sets, but I find those a little bit more dangerous than that as effective. But drop sets, a huge fan. I've been doing them my entire life. I really highly recommend them to anyone. Add them to the end of your sets. Just stop a little bit short of failure and you'll get a massive pump and I think you'll notice a difference. It definitely feels like you're hitting the muscle harder than when you don't do drop sets. So anyway, the workout is wrapping up. What you just saw, the biceps, the triceps, and now these lateral raises, it's all super set. I do them all together without resting in between. And that's basically the entire workout. So if you guys found this helpful, if you guys liked the video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. Uh, after this workout, Paula and I, we go to Chick-fil-A for the first time in a while. So if you're interested in that, stick around for that. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Oh, by the way, you'll see here, just finishing this drop set. On the drop sets, I always try to go a little bit, I try to pause if I can, but my shoulders are fried at this point. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so now that the workout is out of the way, the first week after a deload or a week off, especially on vacation, is always the toughest. We just got out of the movie Dunkirk. It got good reviews, to be honest. I didn't really like it. I thought it was too much action and not enough. Not enough like script and talking, but Paula liked it as you can see, I didn't. Anyway, that's enough about that review. Right now we are at Chick-fil-A, don't know if you can see it in the background. For those of you who are new to the channel, Paula and I, we used to be obsessed with Chick-fil-A. We didn't have a Chick-fil-A anywhere near us, so every time we got to go to Chick-fil-A we were very excited. Ironically, now that we have one like walking distance from where we live, we haven't been there in a pretty long time. It's been so long that they actually have a new item called the barbecue bacon chicken sandwich I think it's basically uh, barbecue chicken with bacon so I am going to try that I've actually never been a big fan of bacon but Paula has been getting bacon on a lot of her foods lately so I've been trying it and I have to say bacon is growing on me so Jim Gaffigan would be proud bacon anyway we are going to go into Chick-fil-a now I'll make sure to show you guys a new sandwich I'll show you what else we get and I'll see you there so Paula got the regular chicken sandwich but lift the bun up she had some tomato and lettuce isn't that right that's right. All right. I got a grilled chicken sandwich. This is the plain grilled chicken sandwich. Nothing special. And let's look at the bacon smoke out. Oh, well. So there's bacon, cheese, and there's chicken underneath. I'm going to save that one for last. Eat this one first. Dun, 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 dun. It's been so long. I'll catch up to you when I try this better bun. In the moment you've been waiting for, it looks like there's a different bun. <laughs> This is very good. I hope it, I think it's only a limited edition, but they should definitely keep it because this is amazing. Alright, so we finished up Chick-fil-A. I got that new sandwich and I have to say it was pretty good. Kind of realized though, I don't know why it's not anything special because I'm pretty sure you can get a grilled chicken sandwich and add all the bacon, the cheese, the barbecue sauce anyway. But it was still pretty good. Anyway, we are now going to head for some Froyo. Paul is gonna get, I'm gonna just get some cheesecake bites to add to my Halo Top because I still have like 15 pints left of that. So we will see you back at the house. All right, so we got 16 handles, spoon, cup, cheesecake bites, and that's cookies and cream, Halo Top. As you can see, it all came out in one piece. That's never happened before. Paula, she actually got Froyo though. Birthday cake with all of those things. Oreo cheesecake bites, uh, white chocolate, what's that, whipped cream, what am I missing, rainbow cookies, I got some Kit Kats, good things come in small packages, I like I like cups, <laughs> I, like <laughs> I, like cups I, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> so we're gonna eat this, let me try it on camera. Uh, this is actually the, this one, uh, cookies and cream has slightly higher macros than the other cookies and cream. And it's actually creamier, so I don't know if this is the older Halo Top or the newer one, but one of them has slightly less protein 
and more carbs than this one, and one has less carbs, higher protein. That was the one I had last video. It wasn't as good, so don't know if it's a coincidence or this one's newer, but either way, it's better. So we are wrapping up the video. You wrap it up. Thanks for watching. As Adam would say, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Did you ever say to follow you on Instagram? No, because they usually follow you. Yeah. Follow him on at AFAU. A P F A U. And I'll see you in the next video. And we'll, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.